Basically starting on a G, um, I'm going to use the G just below middle C. So that's the first bit of the pattern, two Gs, B flat, C, and then two more Gs, and then down to F, back up to F sharp, and then back to G again. left hand try doing it with the right hand so use your second finger this is your second finger here I've just switched to using my thumb because I found that a little bit more comfortable so you can use your thumb as well and then you'd have to step up to that F sharp using the thumb as well then try hands together Notice that I'm not doing this, so I'm not just using one finger because with just one finger you're more likely to go wrong and also it's not really very good technique, it's better to try and use multiple fingers. Anyway, that's the first bit of the pattern, right? So get really good at doing that. Then you've got to learn the broken chord pattern, so here's the first one. So I've got B flat, G, D, then B flat, G, and C sharp, and then B flat, G, and C, and then at the end we do a little B flat to C. So together it sounds like this. Um, okay, now really slowly. see is that um, this pattern of broken chords um, always starts with a B flat and a G together like that and then after you've completed the broken chord you play the G again so that's the second G there then just carry on with this bit now you're ready to start the next broken chord. Like that. Remember when you get to the bottom note, you play the G again. So together, separate. Now we're going down to F and up to F sharp. Because remember the pattern goes. And then we've got one more. to see. Okay, so that at full speed should sound like this. Okay, because you're working on garage band, obviously you could just record the left hand on its own and then record the right hand over the top. Do that if you want, but if you if you want to challenge yourself even more, then try and do it hands together. Right, the next pattern is this. So B flat to G to F sharp. Let me just check, you can see that in the video, yep. Okay, so B flat to G and up to F sharp. I'm using my second finger, my thumb, and then up to F sharp. Then up to F. So B flat, G, E. And then we're gonna do E flat to D. So together this now sounds like A 
little trick here uh, for the more advanced piano players. So instead of just going, we can do. Putting this little grace note in, before, in um, just before. So. Okay, cool. Right, last bit of the tune. So then we've got a key change. So this is obviously the same shape pattern in the left hand, it's just that it's gone to C. So it's two Cs, E flat, then to F, and then two more Cs, and then down to B flat, up to B. Hands together. the right hand pattern so e flat to c to g then e flat to c to f sharp and then e flat to c to f and then the flick the flicky bit the fun bit e flat to f and then you go back to you're just slowing down that c bit so E flat with the C. Once you've played your bottom note here in the broken chord, you play the your C again. I'll do it here. 